Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim in the name of Allah God Almighty the beneficent the merciful Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh may the peace the mercy and blessings of God Almighty be with you I read to you the president of CIOG Al Hajj Habdeens Ahmad Eid Al Adha message 2023 Eid Mubarak Eid Mubarak Eid Mubarak this day have I perfected for you your religion and completed my favor upon you and have chosen for you Islam as your way of life from the Quran chapter 5 verse 3 all gratitude is due to Allah Lord of the worlds and the creator of everyone and everything and peace and blessings on all his prophets and the seal of them all their family and companions I extend Eid Mubarak greetings on behalf of the Central Islamic Organization of Guyana and I ask the Almighty to accept our sacrifices and all our good deeds. Praise be to Allah, Eid al-Adha, the festival of sacrifice in this season of happiness, family bonding, nurturing mutual compassion, love and support for the poor, values that are important to the Guyanese community and the larger community. Eid is also an opportunity to demonstrate solidarity. We celebrate this festival of sacrifice in the 12th month of the Islamic lunar calendar, which signifies the counting down to the end of another lunar year. We praise God Almighty and know the tests and trials require reflection and meaningful action. Humanity continues to show great resilience, many returning to faith and having a better appreciation for the overlooked mercies in life. Pilgrims who went to the Hajj have returned to the Hajj in great numbers. This year, approximately 3 million persons are observing the pilgrimage at the largest gathering of human being on earth. And what is the Hajj all about? Tracing the footsteps of the great prophet of Islam, Prophet Abraham, Ibrahim in Arabic, who has been referred to in the Quran as the friend of God Almighty. The entire ritual of this Hajj is based on Prophet Abraham's family and him himself his wife and his son. Eid al-Adha cannot be celebrated without remembering the friend of God Almighty, Prophet Abraham, peace be upon him. This festival commemorates the sacrifices made by this great prophet and his family members. He is described as the forefather of all the prophets who came after him, including Prophets Moses, Prophet Jesus, and Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon them all. Prophet Ibrahim, peace be upon him, is accorded the highest status in the Holy Quran in chapter 16, verse 20, when God Almighty described him, a single person, as an ummah, meaning a nation. Imagine one person being referred to as an ummah. This is partly because of the amount of good, his exemplary submission to God Almighty, his sincerity in worship, all embodied to the degree of an entire nation. He was also given the title Khalilullah, which means the friend of God Almighty. In chapter 2, verse 131 of the final revelations to mankind, the Quran al Karim, when his Lord said to him, Submit, he said, I have submitted in Islam to the Lord of the worlds. Eid al-Adha, this festival of sacrifice, starts with the glorification of Allah God Almighty, and its pinnacle is total submission to the Creator. Our journey begins by understanding and moving through the levels of our soul. And God Almighty has informed in the Quran, definitely, the one who purifies his soul will succeed. 
not only in this life but in the hereafter. If one, if a human being can overcome and control his lower desires and not being controlled by it and detach himself from the distractions and the diversions from God Almighty in this life and truly humble himself or herself before the Almighty, then this individual will definitely derive the full blessings and benefits from Eid al-Adha and the celebration of this sacrifice. This was the example of Prophet Abraham. May God's blessings be upon him. Eid al-Adha is the celebration of the reformation of the human condition from that of servitude to the creation to devotion of the Creator. Let us not fall into the trap of considering ourselves better than others and behave in an ignorant and an arrogant manner because God Almighty has already informed us in the Holy Quran in chapter 49 verse 30 O people we created you from a single male and a single female and we made you into nations and tribes so that you can learn from each other and know each other. Definitely, the most honored of you in the eyes of God Almighty is the one who is blessed with good conduct. And so the basis of superiority in the eyes of God Almighty is not our material possession or our complexion, but our good, our conduct, and our relationship with the Almighty. Considering Eid as a unifying factor for the Muslim Ummah, I humbly request on this day that we must raise our hands and supplicate to the Almighty for blessings and protection of the Ummah and all of humanity. We must pray for peace and peaceful coexistence in our country and the entire world. Change begins with the person in the mirror. Our actions must prove that we mean no ill to anyone and we are all part of one humanity. Each one of us must be the change we desire. In the Holy Quran, chapter 13, verse 11, the Almighty has promised, definitely, God Almighty will not change your condition and the condition of a people until they change themselves first, unquote. Allah, God Almighty, in the final revelations to mankind, the Quran, has further reminded us in chapter 3, verse 68, Indeed, the most worthy of Abraham among the people are those who followed him in submission to God Almighty. And this prophet, and those who believe in his message, and Allah is the protector, helper of the believers. Unquote. Our father and prophet Abraham, peace be upon him, when thrown into the fire by his own people, was inspired with the words from the Holy Quran in Arabic, Hasbun Allah wa Naim al-Wakil, which means Allah, God Almighty alone, is sufficient for us and he is the best disposer of our affairs. Chapter 3, 173. Unquote. Finally, and in conclusion, I pray that Allah bless you and your families and make us people who strive to bring benefit to others. Let us work on improving our character and those around us. Together, we work to become agents of peace instilling harmony among our among people regardless of ethnicity and creed let us be protectors of each other and a keeper of each other ensure we respect the rights of each other we pray god almighty bless this nation of ours as we strive for one guyana and one people we pray that allah god almighty show us the right as right, the truth as truth, and grant us the capacity to follow it. 
and show us the falsehood as falsehood and evil as evil and enable us to abstain from it. Let us follow this example of Prophet Abraham, the patriarch, our father and friend of God Almighty. May Allah's blessings be upon him and his family. And he taught us to remember the Almighty during our tests and trials and to continue to seek the forgiveness of God Almighty and strengthen our con connection with him. Definitely Allah, God Almighty is sufficient for us and the best disposer of our affairs. Eid Mubarak, Eid Mubarak, Eid Mubarak. Wassalamu alaikum. And the foregoing was the Eid al-Adha message of the president of the Central Islamic Organization, Al-Hajj Shahabuddin Ahmad. In conclusion, on this day of Eid al-Adha, we remind ourselves about some of the important lessons we can learn and habits and traits we can inculcate for our success here and in the hereafter. Definitely, Prophet Abraham is revered in the major religions of the world, not only in Islam, but Christianity and Judaism. In fact, in the Quran, he is mentioned more than 60 times. And because of his obedience to God Almighty and his steadfastness, we were commanded by Allah, God Almighty, in the Quran to follow his example. And so what was his example? Prophet Abraham and his family members, his wife and son, taught us that we should remember Allah, God Almighty, during our tests and trials, during our difficulties. And we must also remember him during our times of comfort and peace and rejoicing and enjoyment and as long as we remember the creator in our good times definitely he will remember us in our difficult times but not only we must remember the almighty in our adversity we must remain steadfast for god almighty will reward as he did reward prophet abraham for his patience and his perseverance we have learned that good things come to those who can wait prophet abraham was granted the victory in the end that when he was thrown into the fire the fire did not burn him a miracle of god almighty and confirming the power of the almighty that when the knife was put on the throat of his son ishmael as he attempted to carry out the sacrifice of that which he loved best in obedience to the Almighty, that the knife did not cut the throat of his son, all of these confirm that God Almighty is with those who believe in him and place their trust uh, in the hands of God Almighty. This incident, the attempted sacrifice, also confirms that human sacrifice is prohibited. And so we have in Eid al-Adha an important lesson of family members supporting each other in obedience of the God Almighty and carrying out the commands of God Almighty. And so the success and the blessings comes to that family and that household. And I think this is an important a lesson and the message of Abraham on this day of Eid al-Adha that we must strive not only individually but collectively to ensure that we as a family are moving in the right direction, doing the right thing and praying together definitely will allow us to stay together. That in this lesson of this attempted sacrifice we learned that there is no sad ending for believers in God Almighty, that we will continuously be rewarded with the ease after our hardship and a way out of our difficulty as long as we are confident and we remain optimistic that the Almighty will answer our prayers and He is greater than our needs and our problems. In this less a sacrifice, 
we are continuously reminded that in this life we are tested either through blessings to see how thankful we are or through trials and tribulations to see how much how much patient we will observe and how much perseverance and so this was has been reflected in so so many prayers of Abraham as recorded in the Quran when he asked the Almighty for himself to observe to continue to remember him as well as his family members very important in this sacrifice we learned about placing our trust in the hands of God Almighty the profound obedience and sacrifice of prayer prophet Abraham and his family showed their deep trust in God Almighty they were confident that Allah God Almighty will never abandon them so even when she was left by prophet by her husband Abraham with her son in that barren desert she asked him when he when he was leaving her is this a command from God Almighty and he responded in the affirmative then she said that the Almighty will not neglect us and so we see the rewards until this day the well of Zamzam continues to flow from then until now Mecca the most blessed place on earth 100,000 prayers for those who pray in the Kaaba area and so many more blessings and bounties Allah has descend on Prophet Abraham and his family that they are reminded they are re being remembered not only in the Hajj but throughout the 24 hours by approximately 1 billion people asking in our prayers a pillar of Islam asking God Almighty to bless them and members of their family we believe in Allah and we believe that he is the best disposer of our affairs this belief and our complete trust in him allows us to move forward remain optimistic and move forward without anxiety and worry we must turn our worries into worship and the Almighty will turn our battles into blessings in his steadfastness we learn to do what is right even if no one is doing it and Prophet Abraham taught us that we must abstain from that which is wrong even if everyone is doing it and if there is encouragement and incitement we must remain steadfast in obedience to God Almighty and not succumb this sacrifice of Prophet Abraham it reminds us that our pleasures and this temporary life we must sacrifice these comforts if indeed we are looking towards success here and the hereafter yes unless we are prepared to sacrifice some of the comforts of this life for the everlasting life of the hereafter only then we will be able to derive and attain success here and the hereafter so what am I saying when we sacrifice this temporary existence here and our comforts here for the everlasting life of the hereafter then it's a win-win situation for the believer we win here and there but when we sacrifice the everlasting life of the hereafter for this temporary existence then we must know that the benefits accrued from these sacrifices are short-lived we can all we will only enjoy it as long as our eyes are open from the time our eyes are closed that is basically the end of our paradise and the three major religions of our country encourage their followers to believe in the hereafter and it is that belief which gives purpose to our existence here therefore let us not sacrifice this temporary for sacrifice sorry the everlasting for this temporary existence otherwise we will lose here and we will lose in the hereafter so in conclusion this animal sacrifice it bears testimony to our sincerity our willingness to sacrifice our time to obey God Almighty and observe our prayers it is bears testimony to our willingness to sacrifice our comforts for the comforts of others 
It is not only our happiness, but how many others are happy because of us. And if we approach the animal sacrifice in this manner, then we will receive the full blessings and rewards from it because Allah has reminded us in the Quran, it is not the meat nor the blood which reaches God Almighty, but it is your sincerity and your piety which reaches Him. Let us therefore ensure that we have the correct intention behind our animal sacrifice and that this sacrifice, it is only a manifestation of all the other sacrifices we are prepared to make in life, not only for our betterment here and the betterment of others, but also for our eternal happiness in the hereafter. In Mubarak, in Mubarak, may Allah bless us all and accept all our sacrifices and all our good deeds. Wassalamu alaikum. May the peace and blessings of God Almighty be with you.